One of the things that is the most overlooked skill set is your medical training. And that's something I wanted to talk about in this video. One of the kits that was just sent out to me to take a look at, we're gonna look at it together, coming up. Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by, I sure do appreciate it. If this is your first time with the channel, my name is Mark. Oh, hi Mark. Welcome to Fit and Fire. Let's get into this video. This time we're gonna be talking about this kit right here. This was just sent out to me by a company called Medical Gear Outfitters. This is actually Skinny Medic's company and something that he's been pulling together for uh, the last few years. He's kind of laid low a little bit over the last year or so because of some things that he's been dealing with uh, medical wise with his family, but uh, he's now back up and running and wanted to talk about this particular gear in a video. So I said, hey, you know what? Send me one of these out and we'll go ahead and just kind of dive in into it together. This is kind of not really my first look at it. I've already looked at it, but I'm going to talk to you about one of the reasons why you might want to consider a kit like this. All right, so let's go ahead and break into this kit and we'll show you all the different things that come with it. Uh, the very first thing that you'll notice is that this is a bag from VanQuest Gear and I've been working with them for years and years and years. I really like all of their bags. Um, it's going to have good quality components. It's going to have good hook and loop uh, for you to add things or take away. Uh, it's made out of quality Cordura, so it's going to be rugged and take a beating. Uh, first and foremost, on the outside, you're going to see a cat tourniquet. That's really good. Um, that's the base line that you should have when it comes to tourniquets. In addition to that, they've included a Sharpie, um, which is something that is kind of overlooked by a lot of people. This will allow you to write things on the tourniquet, take notes as you need to. Uh, obviously, date and time stamps are extremely important when applying a tourniquet. And then you're also going to have a set of uh, medical shears on the other side as well. In addition to that, there's a pocket on the front that is going to have some Legtex gloves, some rubber gloves, essentially. Uh, what I would suggest probably is taking those rubber gloves and putting them into like a Ziploc bag and putting them back in there. So if you're going to keep this like in a vehicle, the temperature swings up and down might uh, cause those rubber gloves to be a little brittle, but there's that. Let's dive in the inside real quick and see what is going on on the inside. Very easy to get into, Velcro top, folds on over. And the first thing that you're going to see is this Gecko grip tape, which is really, really nice to uh, help adhere bandages down if you need to. Uh, the next thing is going to be a SWAT T tourniquet. Uh, I can tell you that I have not personally worked with one of these, but at the end of this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about uh, why I want to have this and things that I'm going to do to change my skill set. Then you're also going to have a rolled gauze, which is from Quick Clot, and this is for uh, temporary external use on controlled traumatic bleeding. There is that. Uh, you're going to have this. Um, modular bandage, which is essentially going to be a pressure dressing or like an Israeli bandage, something to keep in mind there. And then in the very back, we have two sets of chest seals. This is going to be an entry and exit wound uh, chest seal. So that's something I really did like about having that in this kit. It's also going to have a survival rescue blanket, which is nice. Compressed gauze, uh, so just basically a vacuum seal uh, gauze set and then you're going to have a nasal airway uh, component as well. Should there be some type of trauma to the mouth or throat area, this will uh, help um, breathing for those people who know how to use that. So I may not be experienced in every aspect of what comes with this, but one of the things that I am going to be doing this year coming up in June is taking a uh, medical course from Dark Angel. Uh, they're going to be in my hometown. Summertime, I'm usually back and forth to my hometown as it is, so why not go ahead and get some training uh, on one of my trips back home? So uh, there's a 
there's a class down there. I'm going to take it and hopefully uh, I will be better equipped to use a kit like this. Now, let's say that uh, $166 is a little bit too much money for you to spend on a first aid kit. Uh, maybe you need something that is not as robust. Maybe you need more things. Who knows? If you go to medicalgearoutfitters.com, you can go ahead and purchase the things that you need a la carte. That's something I really, really do like about their website. You have the ability to basically put together a kit that suits your needs. Maybe you need more bandages than you do tourniquets. Maybe you need more chest seals than you need bandages. Who knows? Whatever the case may be, you have the ability to mix and match the way you want a kit put together. And then they'll have some of the uh, kit bags for you to stuff all of that stuff in there as well. So I'd go ahead and swing on by and check them out. Uh, see if there is something right for you or maybe pull one together yourself. With that being said, um, that's what I have for you guys. Uh, is this the one for you? Maybe, maybe not. I'll let you guys decide. Let me know down in the comment section down below. With that being said, the most important thing that you can do to prepare yourself for any type of calamity is to get training. I'm not saying that you have to have training to you know, exercise your Second Amendment right, but if you choose not to carry a firearm everywhere you go, you might wanna think about first aid uh, training. Keep all of that in mind, and we will catch you guys next time. As always, freedom through strength, here comes a high five. Thanks, guys. See you later.